Hey everybody, ZipcoreP0 from WR Channel, welcoming you back to Fire Emblem The Binding Blade. Today we take on a way better chapter than the last one. We are taking on chapter 14 next, The Infernal Truth. Alright, so unlike the last chapter, I noticed in the last episode I was a little bit, uh, pissy to in that- I was a- I was in a bit of a bad mood playing that chapter. It's because it took me so long to just beat that chapter, it was starting to- irritate me a bit it's not even like super hard it's just like anytime you do fail it takes so long to get back up to where you were at least for me personally because of you know there's just so many sleep staffs the desert itself random enemies you can't see so it's just kind of trial and error with that map after a little while and eventually I got it and I recorded when I finally got it but you know it took me a while but in this chapter we're going to be using something that we got in the last chapter, and that is the Warp Staff. Alright, we're in this chapter to get another legendary weapon. But first, we must take down the boss of this chapter, Oedis. So, what's really interesting about this chapter is that the boss himself has a Bolting Tome. And, as you can see, he already has 22 base magic. Um, and this is about 4 times... Uh, not four times, four more might than the Elfire Tome, meaning he has 34 attack. Meaning, let's look at people like Roy. Roy, with his miserable two res, um, gets one shotted by the boss if he goes into this range. Now, you can you can get rid of this range by about like three tiles because the boss never moves, but you have to be careful of his range for sure, and that's why we I have one little strategy for this map. There's also another bolting guy right here and then oh not that guy an eclipse to uh, tome guy right here who also has a physic um one way that you can get around these these two guys is that they will prioritize healing over going for their bolting and eclipse tomes unless they can kill then they will still go for it but if one of these guys that like five health or something like that they will prioritize healing over hitting one of your guys even if you know a combined effort between the two could you know easily wipe out your guys so for this chapter we have brought Rutger the God and we've bought Saul of course to use that powerful powerful warp staff so we're gonna move Rutger just about full distance uh, yeah we're actually gonna move him full distance and then we're going to be using a pure water this gives it's sort of like a barrier staff it gives Rutger a bit more res which we are definitely going to appreciate. We can also use a barrier staff him on him at the same time. I don't, know, I don't know if it stacks. No, it does not. So yeah, it's pretty much just a, a barrier staff that anybody can use without using a use of the barrier staff. So, so it's cool. I mean, plus seven res is nice, especially with how much work Rutgers is going to be doing against these magic users today. So we're going to be using Soul and using up our first use of the warp staff. And hopefully Rutgers gets a first crit on this turn. Or gets a crit on this first turn, rather. A shit ton of XP for uh, using the warp staff. So, hopefully, record with this guy if he doesn't owe well. But if he does, it's nice. Because that's one less guy we have to worry about. All these guys have pretty low hit rates against Rucker. I think the highest one the boss has is like a 45. Everyone else has like 30% or lower to even hit Rucker here. So even though it looks pretty dangerous for Rucker being around all these scary, scary enemies, it's not as dangerous as you might think. The rest of our guys are just going to sit here and get rid of enemies that come a little too close for comfort. But Milady's going to be in this position. We're going to send Alan down to deal with some guys because they are going to come up no matter what. And then there's going to be... Yeah, Milady's here to deal with the Wyvern. Other than that, we're just kind of chilling and hoping uh, Rucker gets a good RNG. So, let's see what happens. Like I said, these guys have a very, very shaky hit rate. Of course, the first one hits a 28. It wouldn't be a J. It's because I'm recording, too. In tests, none, like, none of these guys hit, except the boss sometimes. Because he, he has a 50% chance, almost. Nice miss. We also have an elixir on record, just in case we need to use it. But I would like to be attacking with Rucker every turn. And I'd rather use the physics staff with the Rucker. I mean, with a uh, soul to heal up Rucker, if I can. I really like the all sword for just having 50 uses, even if it's not like the most powerful weapon. 
just having 50 uses right now is great because we can't buy any iron swords or anything. And, you know, if Rooker gets a crit, he kills anything anyway, so just having tons of iron swords really gets the job done. Um, and the all sword has more dodge than the steel sword, otherwise I would be using that for a little bit more damage. I might be using it in the subsequent turn to take out a uh, magic user if I can. But sometimes I can't always reach. So yeah, these guys are going to prioritize healing, even if, you know, they could kill, which is really, really good for us. That guy's going to block our path, um, meaning that we can't get to the bolting guy, but we can get to this eclipse guy right here and take him out. Uh, we don't even have to, we don't even have to crit either. We will kill him no matter what. In my test recording, this guy had a little bit more defense, I think. Because this enemy stats can vary just a slight bit, like one or two points. So I could not take out that guy out. Yeah, I could not take that guy out without using the steel sword. So it's nice to see that guy going right away. We could also bait the boss to go for Alan here, which I might just do. I'm going to trade the barrier staff. Alright, how much health does Rucker have? Rucker has tons of health, he'll be fine. I'm gonna trade over the barrier staff to Soul, and we are going to barrier up Alan, just so he doesn't have any chance of dying here. You can see that part right there start to come towards Milady, but it's not a big deal. This guy can hit from two range, so let's bring Milady over here with the javelin. Actually, no, we're just gonna sit back. Actually, that yeah, that's my plan. I wanted that guy to come to me instead of me going to him. All right, then we're just gonna put Alan in range with the javelin. Hopefully, we can take that guy out. If not, oh no, hand axe. Never mind. Better hit right. Um, if not, you know, it's not the biggest deal. Yeah, he can also one shot Elfin by like ten points too. Uh, what's your res? Okay, three. <laughs> you expect the dancer to usually have more health than the other. I mean, more res than the other guys, but not in this game. Yeah, but he's gonna go for Alan. We used the barrier staff so Alan could survive that hit and not have to worry about this axe fighter coming up. I don't think he would die anyways, even without the barrier staff, but it's, you know, it's nice just to be sure. And so I don't have to spend like five minutes in the middle of the video uh, checking that. Because this chapter is actually going to go by pretty fast as long as Rucker gets just a little bit lucky. And by a little bit lucky, I mean just get 40% crits, which... Is not very unlikely when you're hitting twice and there's all these enemies coming after you. Man, I just love Rucker in this game so much. If Rucker was not in this game, I don't think I would like this game as much as I do. Having Rucker and Milady just be so good, it's... <laughs> nothing really compares to those two in terms of strength. They are just absolutely insanely powerful. And you need units like that in this game, honestly. I don't know how people could do an Iron Man and lose Wrecker and Milady super early. I guess we do get another powerful unit in, I think the next chapter, I think it is, that we get uh, a unit named Percival, which unfortunately we cannot use because he's a pre-promote, and I promise that this would be a non-pre-promote run, which makes me a little sad, but it is what it is. That guy hit Okay, that's not good. That guy should heal up one of his guys too. Oh, never mind. Okay, if this guy hits, we're definitely going to use the elixir because I do not want to die. Um, I might use it still anyways. Just to make sure. I mainly just want to get Rucker able to take out that bolting guy. And then soon the boss should run out in three turns. And then we'll be, out. We'll be set. Um, how many of these guys? Okay. Once I take out this Berserker, I might use the Light Brand for another turn, a couple turns, because pretty much all that's coming after us are two range guys that Rucker cannot hit unless we use the Light Brand, which kind of sucks about swords. That's just the the sword curse and fire emblem. Um, I definitely want to heal up Alan. We can dance for him if we need to, though. So we'll take out this guy. Hopefully, we won't miss. Nice, thank you, Alan. We had a 3% crit, that would have been funny if we crit. Okay. We are going to dance for Alan. 
and then we're going to rescue and I think I'm gonna bring Shin over here to kill yeah we can reach and hopefully the boss will go for Shin over Ruck here unlike last turn with uh, Alan there's not multiple guys that can hit Shin so we can just put him straight in and not worry about the boss unless we miss um, short bow that does not kill this guy has such a low chance to hit me that I'm just gonna go for this anyways even though it's a little little tiny bit of a risk but it's not the biggest risk of course thank you Shin for taking care of that guy we don't want to give Shin too much XP though of course all right then we'll just keep my lady right there to deal with this guy I would love to feed the kill to Tate if I can next turn but we shall see and let's take drop you and yeah, we'll just leave everything to Rucker now. In Milady, of course. Yep, this guy's going after Shin, that's what I wanted. Take some fire off of Rucker, and he dodged too. The boss only has two more uses of that bolting tome now. Nice. I did not want to give him more XP, but you know. It is what it is. Shin's still good, Shin will be good. Even if we don't give him much XP for a little while. I definitely want to feed a lot to Tate though, because I do not want to go to Sake. Definitely do not want to go to Sake, especially if I can't use Percival. Fuck that. <laughs> that is going to be hell. I still have no idea how I'm going to deal with the late game chapter with all the wyverns, but we'll figure it out when we get there, huh? With really good luck, you know, just about every chapter in Fire Emblem is nearly impossible to soft lock, but there are a couple. I know uh, Mecha made a, a video strictly for that point to see what maps and farm could be soft locked. Okay, if we can do just a little bit of damage and then feed the kill to Tate, that would be preferable. All right. Okay, like I said, these guys have such low chance of actually hitting record that I was not worried about this strategy. I was only worried about the magic units hitting because they had like 30, 40, 50 percent chance. But like these axe fighters, I mean these pirates, yeah they have zero percent chance to hit. It's actually kind of funny. If we can hit the boss this turn that would be really good, I'm thinking. Um, Because he still has the bolting tome equipped. Actually no, 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 never mind. Rucker would probably uh, double the boss anyways, even if he didn't have the bolting tome equipped. But it makes it a little bit easier. Okay, don't hit me please. Thank you. After we take out this guy, we might be able to start sending in like Milady and the rest of the squad. Alright. How much damage do you do this guy? 8 damage. Okay, can anybody set up this kill? Um... Alan can. I bet Roy can too. I'm gonna tell the Milady out. Okay. We're gonna trust Milady to take out this guy. We can also give her an Iron Sword if we have one. I don't think we do. I literally think we're entirely out of Iron Swords. Um, yeah, looks like it. <laughs> um, I'm sure Lou does more damage. Yeah, even with our weakest tome. We can just, we can use Tate to hit him twice, I guess, with the dance. Yeah, that would probably work. All right, let's hit this guy with Milady. Very low chance for her to die too, but we could also Physic her if we needed to. Okay, we'll use the Horse Slayer and then dance for her and do it again. Nice, please hit this one for your boy. We're gonna heal first. Um. Oh wait. Let's see here. Can I use Shin? Yeah. We will heal you up, Tate. And then we can always rescue drop Lil, put Shin there, and then hit the guy if we need to. All right. Go ahead, Tate. Hit this guy again. Thank you. There we go. That's gonna be some really nice XP for Tate. Alright, so the question is, do we take out the boss, try to take out the boss this turn? Uh, I don't think so, he's too scary. 
And he still has two more uses, right? Yeah, so we can try going for him next turn. Um, we can take up this guy right now. So, I say we do that. <laughs> this is definitely the more preferable option. And then one more turn, we can start sending uh, Roy and Milady over. I guess we'll just leave Shin right here so the Bolton goes after him again, huh? No reason not to. It could also go from Lady too, and she'll lift one hit at least. Yep, going after Shin again. Nice. That means Rucker has probably 0% chance to die this turn. <laughs> he finally hit me. Um, but we can heal up Shin, and maybe the boss will go for him again. That would not be the worst thing to happen. If Rucker could crit some of these guys, that would be really nice. Get rid of them. Perfect. You know, we might actually beat this chapter in under like 25 minutes, I think. Even like completely unedited. We're only at 17 minutes right now in my recording. So that'd be really cool if we could complete this chapter super fast. Easier for me, of course. <laughs> Easier on my throat, too, because I have to talk less. Um. This, with this let's play it's been like both enjoyable and also not enjoyable mainly because of the game we're playing itself is just sort of designed that way there are a lot of problems with this game that I guess we can get into in in future episodes um but oh shit I did not mean to speed up um mainly just like map design and certain things about this game are just super annoying uh please miss Thank you. Um, there's, yeah, like, I mean, the last chapter is, like, a perfect example of every irritating thing in Fire Emblem put into one map. This game likes to do stuff like that. As you can see, the fucking map itself is disappearing, making it harder to travel. Um, but there's just a lot of stuff like that. And I feel like the only units that, like, really should be, uh, somewhat limited in maps are, like, Cavaliers. Because they have so much movement. And then just putting arches around in maps so that wyverns just can't have full reign over everything. Okay, if we can crit please? No. Okay. We did put ourselves at a little bit of a risk for going for this now. Um, hopefully it doesn't come back to bite us. Let's heal you up. So the boss will go for you again. Will that feel heal you to full? It's close. I think Shin still lives though. Shin has five res. Yeah, he should he should live a hit. 34 minus five. Yep, he'll be alright. Um we can even have Milady try and hit this guy. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna risk it. Not gonna risk it quite yet. Um he should have one more bolting though. Hopefully he uses that up and then we can kill with the wrecker next turn. As long as we hit both times. He might just go for wrecker right here. No, he's going for Shin again. Perfect. Alright. Now we can start sending more people in. Ooh, we hit. That's scary. That's the last bolt. That's the last, uh... Seeds tome on the map now. Which is... Fine by me. I'm gonna start sending other people in and try and deal with all these guys. Maybe I should deal with that druid right here. Before I take on the boss. Actually, I think I'm kind of trapped in now. I think I kind of need to get rid of the boss now. Otherwise, he'll hit me and I can't do anything about it, really. Rucker's gonna take out some of these guys, though, which is good. I'm kind of in a position where all these hand axe guys are forced to hit me from one range, so that's good. Take out a lot of these guys. Dun 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 yeah, I think we're gonna have to heal Rucker. Cause like even though the boss loses four oh, even though the boss is losing four might, like he still packs quite a big punch, especially with these two magic uses here. And now that arch is put in a spot where we uh we have to hit from either one range or two range. Please don't hit me. Thank you. Yeah, I think I need to take out that guy. Um to heal up. Oh that's annoying. So I really wanted to uh, dance for Shin this turn. Or uh, pick someone up and then dance for them. Um, I can still do that though. 
Alright. Then we will dance. And I wanted to just plopshin right here. Alright. Can you still reach with physic? No, you cannot. That is dangerous. That is really dangerous. I hope Wrecker is fine. 17 damage. Um, if we take this guy out without getting hit, we are fine. But if we get hit, then it's it's pretty much GG. We could just heal. Honestly, I'm gonna go right here and I'm going to Elixir. Good thing we brought this. And then that Druid should have to hit me from one range, I would believe. Or he can just go right there, I guess. But we can we can deal with people next turn. Alright, let's just see how this turn goes, I guess. But now Rucker cannot really die. This is good. Maybe he can. 17 damage. I can't believe Rucker has 52 health. That is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, hopefully that druid moves like last. And has to hit me from... Ooh. Lou is stuck in the water right now having to fight this guy. Um, preferable matchup, I guess. Okay. I would really like if that druid had to hit me from one range. But it doesn't look like that's going to be possible unless all the archers move first. And thank you, archers. Thank you. So I can take out that druid. That would be really, really good. Oh, that guy has a longbow. Okay. If that other archer plugs that spot, though, then we're good. Yep. Okay. Now the druid has to hit me from one range. Let's go. Thank you, archers. You just helped me out a lot. And you don't even realize yet. <laughs> yep, this guy's going to go for Shin. Oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> I did not realize that Shin had seven health. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I should pay more attention. <laughs> oh, never mind. That priest moved before. Okay. Damn. Okay. Um, would you like to give me. Okay, I still cannot heal up Wrecker. But I can move here now. Um, and take this guy out, hopefully. Yes! Good crit record. Perfect timing for a good crit. I guess I can heal Shin up with Physic. Not the worst idea. How much damage do these guys do to Milady? 21 damage. Let's just pull one of them for now. Alright. Lou is locked in this death match over here. We use that L fire we kill. So let's just equip that and chill. Um, then let's physic up Shin so he can put in some work too. Here we go, Shin. Let's have you get rid of this archer right here. Um, I would like to just straight up kill if I can, but I guess not. Alright. Ooh, that's not good. I don't think, unless he crits somebody, he can't get hit by too many guys. Maybe that longbow guy could also hit him, but the hit rate on that should be super low. I hope that didn't just fuck me. I'm gonna save state just in case because I don't want to play this whole map again. <laughs> Can you blame me though? Can you blame me though? Alright. Alright, Roy, you keep just coming over here, I guess. But we'll just wait. We'll just wait on the boss for now. We'll just chill. Okay, hit Lou. There we go. It was close to 69%, so I was pretty confident about that. So, I'm glad we hit it. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Just don't get that 4% crit and we are fine. Thank you very much, Shin. <laughs> that would have been bad. The longbow guy might go for him, too. But, honestly, that's fine. There you go, milady. Actually hitting with the javelin. Oh, I did not mean to speed up all that. Alright, that person just locked my lady in. <laughs> Drop. Alright. So let's see here. Take out this archer. Uh, we'll have to use the light brand, I guess. Uh, we can just crit. Let's crit, hopefully. If we crit, that'd be nice. Gives us more options. There we go, Rucker. Now we can take out that pirate. And we should be alright. Nice physic if things go bad. Oh, right, no mind. We'll just take him out right here. And then everybody is looking good. We just have to take out that last archer. 
and then we're free to just go straight to the boss. Alright. Alright, let us go then. Let's use Milady to get Roy, I guess. Not like she really has to do anything right now. Alright, we are ch ch chilling. Hopefully that archer goes for Shin. Because then we can just get rid of him right here. Yes, he actually does, because Shin's at low HP. That works out. That actually works out pretty well. Alright. We'll have Shin take care of him. Um, very, very low possibility that we get. Oh, never mind. Okay, we can have a record do it though. Okay. Let's have Tate go get us a healer over here. That's not who I wanted, but oh well. Alright, Wrecker. Steel Sword, take this guy out. Then the boss shouldn't be able to, I think, yeah, the boss did 17, so Wrecker will be able to live no matter what. But then again, his res is slowly going down every turn. Uh, but he shouldn't be able to do 30 minus 11. Yeah, he's he's not killing us All right, we will just uh, drop off Roy over here. I want to be in range one two three four five. Oh, wait, never mind. Um, could we go like right here then come back nice All right and then we'll get Milady in position. I guess we can give that that kill to take over here. Yep. He only has a 55% chance to hit. Okay, I'm gonna speed up here a little bit because there's no point in watching all these animations. Alright. Now let's just... Oh, this guy's blocking the path. You're a bitch. It's fine though. <laughs> it's delaying the inevitable. Alright. Uh, Milady, you can go take out this guy for fun if you want to. Alright. Should probably turn on her animation at all. Let's weaken this guy for Tate. It's nice to see Roy being able to do stuff again. Alright. Don't really have much to say in terms of commentary because we're just nearing the end here. We just need to take out the boss. Uh, this is going to be a pretty short chapter though, all things considered. If I didn't use a warp stat, this chapter might have taken a lot longer. We would have just waited for the bolting to run out and then we would have done the rest of the chapter normally, but that's not, that's not how we roll around here. We use the fancy warp staff since we just got our shiny new tool. Alright, let's take you out. Perfect. There you go, Tate. Now, if Rutker can crit, then we have nothing to worry about. But, uh, how much damage did he do to me? 19 times 2. We can rescue with Milady, though. So let's heal you up, Rutker. Alright. Then let's rescue you. Guess we didn't need to. Alright. Let's take drop. I thought I'd just drop the Luin range. Alright. Then we'll heal up record, and then we'll have record deal with the boss. <clears throat> Might as well play things a little safe since we're right at the end. We can waste another turn to heal up record and make sure everything is alright. And if things go really bad, we can dance for Lou, heal again, and then we'll be alright. But yeah, this should be the end of the chapter as long as Rucker hits and gets a crit, of course. But. Yep, we missed, so we're perfectly fine just chilling here. Rucker should be able to take care of things. Um, if you are still watching, it would be greatly appreciated if you could share out these videos or any of my videos to anyone that you think would enjoy them. The Probably the biggest thing that you can do to help me out as a small content creator is to share out any of my videos to get them more... Uh, noticed because that's pretty much the hardest thing for small channels like mine is just getting the opportunity for other uh, people to even know of your existence so if you could share out any of my videos that'd be greatly appreciated but you know only do so if you think the video is high quality I don't you know if you don't like the videos there's no reason for you to share out the 
the videos, even if it's just out of the kindness of your heart. But Rucker's gonna end the chapter. If you could, hit that subscribe and like button for me. I'm trying to hit 150 before the end of the year, but we'll see if we can get there. Thank you guys so much for watching. You know me, Zip Cold Peas, from WR Channel. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!